I've been playing around with something kind of cool. I've been diving into cartoon animation just a little bit, and I want to show you just kind of a basic way to do a little bit of animation on a cartoon character made in Fusion. So here we have a character that I made in our last video on how to draw vectors in Fusion. And let's say we want to do just a little bit of animation. Well, it's actually really easy and a really great environment to do some animation here in Fusion. So this character is made out of masked backgrounds. So we have a green background with a mask on it. We have our white background with various masks attached to that and so on. And that's all kind of built up to make our character. But we can animate any of these masks in simple or complicated ways as much as we want. So for instance, let's say maybe we want him to look around. Well, I can go to the eye section here and I have this eye dot mask and I can move this around and you kind of see what we're getting at here. So let's say we want him to look from left to right. We can start this over here on the left and oops, look, this is kind of going outside of there. So I can actually take this eye mask and just mask our eye dot as well. That's the nice thing about working with nodes is you can use any node as a mask for any other node. Just very convenient, okay? So maybe he starts over here and I'll just open up the inspector here for our mask and we'll just hit this keyframe for the center right here. And now I can move forward a few frames, maybe 12 frames or so, and I'll move this over like this, okay? So he goes from left to right. Maybe it kind of arcs a little bit in the middle, right? So we'll do something like this. And I can grab this middle keyframe just by dragging selection like that. And I can go up here and click this little curve button and that will make this a curve. And so now this will animate from left to right like that, it's magic. Now we don't want this to start and stop immediately. We want it to kind of speed up and then slow down. That's the perfect thing to control in the spline panel. I can go up here to spline and we'll grab this I dot and select that. And let's grab this last keyframe and hit F on the keyboard to flatten out the handle. And first keyframe will flatten out as well. So it starts out slow and then it speeds up. This let's say S to smooth it. And then it will slow down here until it comes to a stop. So now we have this nice movement. Very nice. So now he's moving from left to right. He's looking that way. Really cool. Maybe we want him to blink as this happens. So maybe we'll just have him blink kind of right as this is going. So let's animate his eyelids here, which are these ellipses that I totally didn't rename yet. And we'll just start those right here. Again, I'll just keyframe the center on both of these. So we'll start there and then maybe within a few frames, we'll lift those back up. So I'll just kind of add a keyframe at the beginning and the end. And then towards the middle, we'll have these come in a little bit, something like that. So now they kind of blink like that. Very good. Same thing, we'll go to the spline panel for our lid. Let's select all of these and hit F to flatten them out. Same for the bottom one. There we go. And we have kind of this little blink. Yeah, that works pretty well. Maybe we'll add a little bit of life to the eye. We'll kind of move that around a little bit towards the end. Just have that kind of move. And if the timing isn't quite right, you can hold shift and kind of move these around a little bit. So now we have a nice little animation here. Pretty simple. So that's kind of basically moving stuff around, but we can also keyframe the shapes of things. Maybe we'll have his mouth change a little bit. So this mouth shape, let's just go ahead and keep that right until, I don't know, maybe frame 14 or so. And over here where it says right click here for shape animation, I can right click and say set key. That'll set the key here. And then we'll have it kind of morph into a different shape here a few frames later. And I'll just take this and kind of move this around, just adjust that shape a little bit. So now he kind of changes his mouth shape. And again, we can refine that with the spline panel. And we have a little bit of dynamic shapes here too. Kind of nice. So you can see kind of the possibilities are endless here. I mean, it's not too hard to move things around, especially since they're already built in Fusion. You can also import art as an SVG and do kind of a similar thing. If you'd rather work in like another vector program or whatever, you can import an SVG and it'll basically make a bunch of things like this, backgrounds with masks on them. And it's kind of a neat way to uh, do things. If you want more videos on kind of animation and cartoons and stuff, let me know. I think it's super fun. Kind of a different way to use Fusion. It's pretty fun. If you do want to learn some of the basics of Fusion and a little bit more of, I, I guess what Fusion is used for a lot more, which is visual effects and stuff. You can click this link up here, which will take you to our class, Pro Compositing and Visual Effects in Fusion. It's available now at groundcontrol.film. Thanks for joining me. I hope that your adventures are animated like me, the king of the outros.